Okay, I'm back, and what we're going to do today, so you can see me, I'm removing the tape, and this is just, so I can show you, Arches board. However, it buckled in this area, in this area, and so I'm going to stretch it now that it's completed. This is my squash gourd and apple design that we painted with an extra leaf. And I'm just taking the tape off and I want you to see how I do the tape. I always pull it towards the design. That way you don't tear any of the paper. Standing as we do this, so it's a little different for me. And some of the things that you need for this is more tape. So you're going to be taping it down once, or doing it the wrong way here. Um, once it's wet, we're going to be taping it down to a board. Now this is 11 by 14, so you want a board that's larger than that. And I want to show you how I remove this from... So you're going to need a paper... Um, dry bath towel, an old one, but it has to be absorbent. You want it to be able to absorb. And you need a palette knife. You're going to need more tape. You're going to need a nice large brush to put your water down with. Set that right there. You want clean water. I'm going to remove all my brushes here so I can get at my bucket of clean water that's in there. And Trying to think if there's anything else. The board to tape it on, clean water. And I always do like to have um, a clean, dry baby diaper in case we need it. Close at hand. So all I'm doing, and I'm going to just show you this on the board here. See, this is where the it buckled, but normally it would be just like these papers. And you would just slide this in, slide it under. This is going to be a lot easier because it's already buckled off and around until you release it from your board, paper from the, the paper board here. And I like these little bit thicker palette knife to do this with. Sometimes the thinner palette knife can actually tear the paper, so you want to be cautious with that. Okay, there we go. Now that's separated. I'm going to close this up and set it aside for the next design that we do. Okay, so now this is a gear board that I have here. And we're going to, once it's wet, there we go. I'll just tape it right back down to this. So I have that sitting here. Ready to go. We're going to turn this face down. Buckled, so it would not sit correctly in the frame. And we're just going to get this nice and wet. And that's what the um, bath towels for here is when you do get this wet it's not going to go around to the other side because the bath towel will absorb any extra moisture. First time I did this about died. So I tried it on an, a project that I didn't do a lot with and I really didn't care if it got ruined or not but and your brushes are bigger and they're new and all that so you're going to lose some hairs so I'm make sure those are out of there there we go do you want to make sure this is nice and wet even if you have to go over it a couple of times Especially where those bulges are from where it buckled. And once you get this on, now this is a fairly large, like I said, it's 11 by 14. 
fairly large design. It's going to take at least minimum 48 hours to dry on the board once it's taped down. And just keep applying water until it looks like it's pretty wet, nice and even across the entire paper. Of course, get rid of your hairs if need be. My brush keeps losing hairs. Okay, now I'm going to gently, not real high, but I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. And it looks like it's still dry over here. You want to make sure it's nice and wet. My edges are wet. Okay, so you can set your brush down at this point. I'm going to move this over here. Make sure it's flat because I want to get my board in here. And now I'm going to turn it over and tape it down. And like I said, you're going to just leave this set for about 48 hours to dry, nice and dry. But this will remove those buckles. It doesn't look like it when you first tape it down, but you'll be shocked. Get at the next side. You'll be shocked at how flat this comes out. And I'll show you once it's dry. I'll take it off, take the tape off, and show you how flat it is. And then it'll be all ready to frame. Make sure your tape's down nice and secure. You've got the paper as flat as possible as you tape it. Trying to do like about a half an inch on the tape. It's not the thickest tape in the world or the widest, but it should work. And you can keep a close watch on this as it dries. If you need more tape, add more tape. But keep it somewhere flat where nothing's going to fall on it and it'll, it can dry all on its own. Just get those wrinkles out of there. There we go. Now you want to run your fingers around the tape. You don't want to run it on the paper because you could have dirty fingers. But there we go. That's how you stretch it once your design is completely painted. So I'll come back after it's dried in 48 hours and show you what it looks like when it's completely ready to be framed. I'll see you then. Alright, we're back and I've got everything nice and dry. So I'm going to remove the painting. This is the one that I got completely wet on the back and taped it down. And I'm just removing it from the gator board that it was on. And there we go. It is ready to be framed. And it's going to look lovely. So that's pretty much what we need to do if we end up with buckling that isn't going to look real good when it's framed is put it on a bath towel, soak it on the back, 
any water will get picked up by the bath towel on the front so you don't have to worry about losing your design or anything but it worked out really well and this is going to be on Patreon soon so keep an eye out please go over and check for my other paintings on Patreon and it's step by step you can watch me from beginning to end and I want to thank you so much for being a patron if you are a patron and decide to become a patron it's really important for my channel to be able to continue to bring you paintings and graphites and we'll see you soon thank you so much